Hello, Lovix here and welcome to my first devlog. Today I want to cover my two years of repeated failing. I'm a passionate programmer since childhood and a full stack web developer by daylight. So what game do I want to make? I have a passion for Path of Exile and I'm fascinated by the level of randomness in games such as Draw Fortress and Rimworld. So I decided I want to make a fast paced power fantasy roguelike with as much random as possible. Tanks just made sense to me at the time. In my second iteration and after hitting the first performance wall I tried to implement an entity component system inside of Godot. This didn't work out so well but teached me a lot about memory management and overall game structure. In my third attempt I tried to give GDScript a go. Sadly, this project doesn't boot up as well and I'm too lazy to fix that. GDScript was okay, but I'm used to static types and the LSP in Godot 3 wasn't that great so I went back to C-sharp. With my new knowledge about project structure and value and composition over inheritance, I went to my fourth iteration in C Sharp and I had great success with that and great fun, especially with shaders. Here are some of the results. After creating a very nice composition-based weapon system, I thought it only made sense to multiply it. Welcome to the laser tornado. After that, I took a little break from game development and switched back to web development for some side project. Also I was getting into Rust at that time and switched my workflow completely to NeoVim. And when I came back to Godot, it felt only natural that I need debugging in NeoVim. So I created a little open source plugin that did exactly that. Link is in the description. Next it was about time to get into the randomness part of my game. I spend a lot of time researching procedural generation and what options do I have, what options other game use and how to implement them. And I settled on a mix. I will use wave function collapse to make my maps pretty, pearl and noise to generate bigger overworlds to decide where mountains and rivers are and maybe a walker algorithm to generate a street network. Implementing randomness uh, random generation was by far the most challenging part of game dev I have faced so far. Just getting wave function collapse work probably required a lot of thinking and for me it really helps to visualize that so in the background you can see some of my sketches I did. So it was time to get into tool scripting and editor plugins and to my surprise it was damn easy. It's one of Godot's greatest features. You basically Build a plugin by creating a game inside the editor. It feels so, so natural. I highly suggest for anybody to try it. This left me with a plugin where I could just draw something to a tile map, configure my slice settings, slice it, configure rates, and the plugin would generate sockets required for the uh, connectivity rules for wave function collapse. Fully automatic. It is such a great feature and it solved a lot of the problems regarding wave function collapse for me and it's also fully reusable for any game in the future. Around that time Godot 4 beta released so I decided to convert my brokers to Godot 4. Also with the new tile map features in Godot 4 my wave function collapse algorithm made a lot more sense since now I could use multiple layers on one tile map 
and with Gado 4 I gave GDScript another try. And damn I was surprised. GDScript 2 is much better than the one we had in Gado 3. Finally, we have full support for static typing, we got our lambda expressions, I really, really wanted that. And I feel really comfortable to write in GDScript now. So I will also convert all my brokers regarding the game to GDScript. I don't want to badmouth C Sharp, but to be honest, there is a lot of boilerplate code involved when working with Godot. And in GDScript, you get stuff done so much faster, so there is no turning back now. Here is my final conclusion of about one and a half year of development. Godot is amazing, and I'm looking forward to contribute to the engine at some point. Here are my final two tips. Don't fight the engine, don't overcomplicate stuff, use the tools that are given to you and iterate fast. Don't feel bad to restart. Fail fast, restart fast, you never start at zero. Knowledge persists. If you want to follow my journey, leave a like or subscribe. Also, there are links to my Twitter and GitHub in the description. Bye!